This video is about logs using the TI-30XA. Right, let's turn that on. So let's say I have the log of base 5, 25, okay? Um, there's a shortcut for this. That's the log of 25 divided by the log of 5. This is a base 5. This calculator does not have base 5, but it does have base 10, and this is the rule to do it. To remember it, 25 is on the top, 5 is on the bottom, do the logs on the top and the bottom. So, let's do the following. Let's do a 25 log divided by 5 log. You press equals, gives you 2. Perfect. Okay. Uh, log of x, 25. Log of base x, 25 equals 2. There's a rule that says that the log of base a b equals c, which means a to the c equals b. This rule is important while we do this. So here to solve it, we go uh, x to the second power equals to 25. We take the square root on both sides. x equals what? Well, uh, 25 square root gives you 5. Very nice and clean. Okay. Let's say we have the log of base 10, x equals 2. We use uh, this rule, 10 squared equals x, 10 squared. Ah, okay, so 10, y to the x, 2 equals 100. Nice. All right, anti-logs, 10 to the 2.5, same thing, 10 to the power, of 2.5 equals, it gives you 316.227 and so forth. Uh, if you look over here, where is it, at the log, there's an anti-log, 10 to the x. All right, let's do that. Let's put 2.5 second log, and it gives you the same answer. Got to press that second button first, make sure. Um, 10 to the minus 1.5. So we do um, 1.5 plus or minus key, second log for the anti-log, 0.03162, and so forth. Perfect. 10 to the half. Ah, okay. So uh, let's try this. Let's say 1abc2, and then second log. And it gives you the answer, 3.16227, and so forth. This one can be also be written, rewritten as the square root of 10. The index of 2 is over here. If it doesn't have it, it's assumed a 2, and then the 1. So this is really the square root of 10. 10 square root gives you the same answer. Really neat. By the way, if this is going a little too fast, by all means, pause rewind and watch it again okay um, also please subscribe please tell your friends please tell your teacher about this video um, and also if you would like to support this channel please use the thanks button I appreciate it thank you all right so next thing is about log of 8 if it doesn't have a base we assume it's a 10 so 8 log, 0 0.9030, and so forth. Okay, how about the log of 8 squared? Hmm. So this one, you take 8, you square it, take the log, and it gives you 1.8061, and it gives you more numbers. Now, there's a rule that says you can bring down the 2. So 2 log of 8. So what you need to do is say 2 times uh, 8 log equals, and it gives you the same answer. The combination of keys is important, so learning those combination and learning that combination is super critical. Natural log of 8, oh, okay, press 8, natural log, we get 2.0794. Okay, 
natural log is really the log of base e, 8, which gives you that answer. What is e? Well, to find that out, if you look at the natural log, there's an e to the x. If we type 1 second log, it gives you e, 2.71828, and so forth. So, what you can do is you can, you can, you can calculate log base e to the 8. Log of 8 divided by the log of e should give you the same answer. How do we do that? Hmm. Well, we can type in 8 log for the top divided by. Then we're going to have to have e. So we're going to have to type 1 e, right? And we take the log. And then we press equals. And 2.0794. Same answer. Key combination is very important in this type of calculator. It's not algebraic, um, as you noticed. And if you don't know what that means, that's okay. Um, e to the negative 1.8, 1.8 plus or minus key. And then second natural log gives you 0 0.1652 and so forth. Then, natural log of x equals 3. Remember, the natural log is the log base e, x equals 3. And this rule, what we can do is e to the third, e to the third equals x, and then, so, we can calculate. We press 3, second, natural log. That gives you 20.0855. Notice that I don't press the equal sign after I do certain steps. Keep that in mind, okay? And this calculator seems to be disciplined if I press the equal sign. It doesn't do something more. So, what does this mean? It means that if I took the natural log of 20.0855 and keep going with all the numbers, I should get 3. So, here's my number, right? I'm going to take the natural log of that. Boom. Gives me three. It takes me back. Okay. <laughs> I hope this was entertaining. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher. By all means, take your time in watching this again and again. Uh, put a comment if you like on the bottom. Um, if you'd like to support this channel, by all means, uh, use the thanks button. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.